Is your Google My Business account missing this information? Hey, it's Ryan with Optimize and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at Google My Business and we're actually not in Google My Business, which would be like inside Google My Business like this. We are looking at it on the outside. So we're on the outside looking in. So I typed in my business name, my city, and my state and it pulls up my Google My Business box over here on the right hand side. This should do the same thing for you if you have set up your Google My Business. So what is it missing? So as you can see here, it's, it's showing the photos I have populated into my Google My Business account. It's pulling in the reviews left on Google. It's saying what I am, where I am, address, phone, hours, that information that I populated in my Google My Business account. It's showing my posts right here that I've recently done in the Google My Business account. And this is where this video is focused on. It is on the question and answers section. So if you did not know, voice search is becoming huge and people are doing search queries in question form. They're talking like they're talking to another person. So they're asking the device you know, who does this? Where can I find this? Stuff like this. So the way people are searching, the, the terms they are using is vastly different than when they're typing into the search bar than when they're talking to their device. So this question and answer section is the answer to your problems right here, for real. Um, basically, what you're gonna wanna do is type out any kind of question. You do this right from here. You click ask a question, and then boom, and then you type in your question right here, and then you'll have the opportunity to answer that question. So if we look by clicking see all questions right here, I, I did 17 of them. You know, this just provides great information to anybody who is potentially looking at my listing, but more importantly, is giving that information to Google on Google's platform in a way they want in question and answer format and I did this very systematically I asked the questions in a way that I felt people would be asking them to their device and then I answer them in a way that very similar to how I hear these um, you know Siri and Google Home and this kind of stuff how, how they say the answers that's how I typed it in that's, that's what I wanted, that's what I was going for, and I really hope these start showing up in voice search results. That would be awesome, because voice search is really taking over. I believe it'll be over 50% of the way people search, like 50% of the time people will be doing voice search by 2020, and it's already at like 20 or 30% right now. So, you know, half the time in a couple years, people are gonna be searching by voice. You need to optimize for that. You might as well get started now and get ahead of the game. It might just blow your business up. But that is it for this video. If you like the content, please remember to like and subscribe. It would mean so much. We're putting this content out to help you, uh, you know, do optimize your, your internet presence on your own. And of course, we are here to help. If you would like to reach out to us, our rates are very reasonable. We can work within any budget and we just wanna see more people succeed. So if you need any help, go on over to optimize.design that is the domain name there's no .com needed we are good at the internet and until the next video take her easy